this one! So the outside's gonna interfere, that definitely. I mean, it's a Middle Eastern country. The interest was never focused on having our own dignity. So this is a civil war, but it's a postmodern one. We have no dollar in the country. We are going down the road of Greece before us. Uh, and uh, our situation is even worse because we are a much smaller country uh, and all our productive sectors were destroyed back in the 1990s when uh, Rafi Hariri first came to power because he implemented a policy of downgrading the importance of agriculture and industry, local agriculture and industry, and promoting mainly the financial sector and the real estate speculation sector. Now our debt is twice our GDP. The productive sector is nearly non-existent. We, uh, we import 90% of our uh, commodities. Uh, we barely export anything. And at the same time, the, uh, uh, the formula even uh, for the Hezbollah uh, uh, Free Patriotic Movement Amal Coalition against the future uh, Lebanese forces, uh, etc., coalition, the, the whole political elite doesn't have but a neoliberal agenda. Now we are facing a similar crisis, an economic one, but that might turn into a civil war if things are not rectified. And I believe that the political elite would engender such a situation uh, just to maintain power. Terror of state. This leader, Michel Aoun and Gibran Basile, Walid Jumblat and Saad al Hariri and Nabih Burri and Nasrallah, these six people control everything in Lebanon. Actually, they are kings. They act as kings. They, are, they, they don't believe in, in, in a democracy state. So they want to stay like this. They are heads of mafia also. They make uh, corrupted deals, they stole uh, public money. They care about money, actually. They want uh, money. Lebanon historically uh, 
had a lot of movement and revolution. Um, either it led to war or it led to uh, a destructive culture that we're living now. Uh, in order to have a successful revolution, I think we, we should build a civil state. And before doing this, uh, we should agree, as I said before, on a social contract about our identity and uh, who brought this burden to our country. And if we were to choose between a sectarian system and a social system, social state, of course we will choose a social state because it's our benefit and it's our reform principles. We, uh, we believe that we should separate the, uh, the religion and the politics. I think uh, we believe actually that uh, uh, the clergy should not interfere in any judicial or uh, any political matters and we should remove barriers between sects. When the WhatsApp decision came out, people started going down on the streets. It wasn't just about the WhatsApp, it was about uh, a lot of complications in the government and a lot of corruption, a lot of taxes. So my friends wanted to go down. I said, no, we're not going down. We're going to support our government because this is a conspiracy against a government that is supporting Hezbollah, the resistance of Lebanon. Uh, they went down the first day, so I just followed them. And once I went on the streets and I saw the people, for the first time of my life, I saw Lebanese people from all different sects, all different political backgrounds, standing together under one flag. I couldn't not join them each single day. And if it wasn't for that day when I, uh, where I came down, I wouldn't be supporting the revolution today. So when I saw this, I saw that there, were hope, there was hope for Lebanon, that we could stand together uh, away from politicians. Unfortunately, a lot of things happened in the past days, and politicians tried to divide us, and it's working, because some, one side is actually jumping on the revolution, the other side is just trying to end it. So now people, again, they're following their, their uh, leaders and trying to harm them. But for me, I still see hope because uh, in desperate times, you manage to go down on the streets together and you can do it again. So that's why I'm still holding on to the revolution. I'm not going to let it go until the final end. as a country and a collective identity that's so important for us because that's how we're going to build a new civil and modern uh, country that's been basically been stolen from us ever since the independence. Tourism has gone down, the economy has gone down, environment is uh, polluted, we have, you know, social crisis, economic crisis, environmental crisis, uh, health crisis, everything. But now for the first time ever, you feel that the people have hope. So this is going to persevere. This uh, this family they were driving to the south yesterday at night uh, early morning, and uh, because uh, the we were uh, blocking the, the way to the south, 
you know, to make pressure on the government. And the military, they, they make diversion, you know, to, to show people how they can uh, go to the other side from the road and to drive straight away to the south. And that's the problem. They don't put the reflection in the, in the fence, that's like this one there, you know. And they hit it and they were driving fast, you know. They hit it and they have uh, get fired and they die. And there were three, uh, three in the cars. The man and his sister-in-law and his daughter as well. And they blame us because uh, we blocked the, the, the road. That's, for me, I don't agree to, to block the, the, the road. So I want to make pressure to the government. We have to, to do it in the, in the president palace or uh, prime minister or parliament speaker, whatever, you know. To be honest, we don't decide to, uh, to block the street anymore because it's not fair. And uh, we want to make pressure on the government, not to the people, our people. It was the wrong idea. And some some uh, party here in Lebanon, they use our uh, movement. They, they do this, something like that, horrible things, and the, 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 the name of us, you know. And uh, we will uh, we'll, we'll defend our, us and we will talk clearly in the, in the media about them. There is... Uh, uh, the, 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 there is uh, three parties. Uh, there is one from the we call it Al Quwat Lebanonia, and Hizb Ishtiraki, and uh, Musabal, and even Amal, Amal movement as well. You know, they are all uh, religious parties. They 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 they, they come. They, they do some horrible things in the name of us because we are civil and we don't have leaders uh, till till now. That's the problem in Lebanon. حكما ان هناك في درجه من الوعي حصلت في المجتمع اللبناني ولكنها بالنسبه لي لا تزال في مراحلها الاولى لانه الازمه اليوم في لبنان هي عدم وجود تعريف واضح لمفهوم المواطن اللبناني من هو المواطن اللبناني هل هو ابن الطائفه هل هو ابن المنطقه هل هو تابع لزعيم هل هو اللي خارج عن الزعيم خارج عن الطائفة هناك ثغرة ما لا تزال غير واضحة طبعا هناك شعور عام من اللبنانيين برفض الطائفية بضرورة تقديم الشعور الوطني على الشعور الطائفي أو على الشعور المحلي ولكن في نفس الوقت هذا الأمر لا يزال مسألة صورية يعني الجميع يقول لا للطائفية ولكن عند التنفيذ We are sleeping since 40 years It's enough Where are, where are our children? They have no education No future Nothing. Where are we? Where, where are we going? There is nothing left because superiors are not seeing the people on the ground. That's Lebanese uh, policy by, by bank. They are corrupt, you know, because they develop Lebanese they, they, corruption. <laughs> this is the result. Look, the they, they transfer all the, the rich the rich people from the government. I mean, they transfer all the money already in, in Switzerland or whatever. And now they're not allowed the people to, to get money. Even I went today to the bank to get some money, and they say, you don't have a right only to get only 500. I tell them, you are not giving me a, a free this money. That's mine. I, I leave it here. When I need, I want it. He say, we can't, because now they, 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 they block the way. I think that there's coming another revolution now on the way, you know, because if, imagine you, you have your salary and your money you own, you put it in the bank and you want to get it and they say you, are not, you have not, not tried. What's right? What's the kind of law? It's stupid. The, the banks actually are the ones responsible not only for our economic failure but also for our political failure because the political elite works for these banks. They have subjected the whole economy to serve the interests of the banking sector. And the reason why we always this, uh, have the saying that the banking sector are the greatest in the world. The reason for this is that our banking sector, they, they deal with the country 
the way, for example, these uh, Caribbean states, tiny states, uh, who live on money laundry, on, uh, on illegal uh, financial transactions. Uh, and this is how uh, much of our banks or banking sector was able to survive. Uh, I can give a few examples. Uh, back, uh, the crisis should have um, uh, kicked off back in 2000. But we were always lucky, quote unquote, uh, to have other people facing crisis in order to get their money. So in 2003, Iraq was invaded. Much of the Iraqi money was circulated through Lebanese banks. Uh, then in 2006, due to loans and donations given to us, the economy boomed. Okay. Uh, in 2011, we benefited from the Libyan crisis and the Syrian crisis because many Libyans and Syrians uh, smuggled their money. Uh, mainly to Lebanese banks you know, because they didn't dare to go to European banks otherwise they would have been frozen. So now we cannot, we don't have any other country facing a crisis or elites of this country trying to smuggle the money out of it. Uh, and at the same time we don't have any productive sector. stay here not to go anywhere. Okay, good education, good health, good environment. We only want uh, our, our needs. Yeah. Lebanon is one of the best countries of the world, but they are making it poor, they are making it rubbish, they are making it everything bad. They are speaking about we have inflation. Really, our Lebanese lira, it, is, it was better than dollar, it was better than gold. So, why now we have no dollars in the country, even we are receiving many, many millions of dollars every day. They are taking it to, 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 to they are stealing it every day. في السنوات الماضية كانت الأزمة الاقتصادية تتراكم بفعل عجز النظام الاقتصادي والسياسي عن تلبية متغيرات ارتفاع عدد السكان انخفاض المداخيل بشكل عام وكما تعلمون أن النظام الاقتصادي اللبناني هو قائم على القطاع المصرفي وعلى قطاع الخدمات والسياحة وفي نفس الوقت النظام السياسي اللبناني هو قائم على نظام محاصصة طائفية لا يمكن أن ينتج هذا النظام دولة حقيقية فعلية تستطيع بناء اقتصاد حقيقي. No one knows what's going to happen. Some southern villages now in Lebanon they're actually trying to work on their agriculture because they think when the government falls they're not going to find enough bread so to start now to plant food and like do their own businesses because they knew if something happens they're gonna be surrounded in one uh, area. People are trying to protect themselves and their families and their communities more than trying to protect Lebanon because a lot of people they actually lost hope now. After this revolution a lot of people still decided to stand with the government and their leaders against the people's demands. So for example let's say we, some people left the protest because it's aiming at Hezbollah. All right don't stand with the people who are aiming at Hezbollah but still support what we want, our demands, you're still suffering the way we're suffering. So I don't think people are ready for an economic collapse. That's going to be a disaster, and I, that might lead to actually internal conflicts. But we are suffering, and that's what 
the reason for this starting fair people have a, a real cause that they need a better economical situation it didn't happen just by a blink like that it to, it is a result of 30 years of things that are piling one year after the other it's not that it happened with one day it only clicked because of a certain thing that touched everyone, that's the what's up. But there is, people suffered a lot. And our president came only three years ago. Unfortunately, most of the stick that makes miracles is not available now. Maybe we have to do more prayers for that. The interest was never focused on having our own dignity. That's very important. When you have a belongingness to a country, to a nation, you build your own resources. But we need to have good ties with the neighbor because we are a small country. He's Christian and I'm Muslim. We are together, uh, work since maybe five years, and we share everything. We don't know the world, we don't need the world, we need the peace. Now there is a future. I've been thinking about leaving Lebanon from, uh, from years ago because uh, I had never thought, uh, I thought I was alone, not feeling, I didn't, have the, I didn't have the strength, but now all together the people, everyone has gained the strength from each other and they're working on making, fix, fixing things and working to make this country better. لا 
لا تنسى أن اللبنانيين اختبروا الحرب الأهلية وهم يعرفون أن الحرب أمر مكلف وأن البلاد فيها تعقيدات كثيرة وهناك طوائف متصارعة وهناك ذاكرة دائما تحصل أنه نحن منذ عشر سنوات حصل اقتتال في البلاد لأيام وعلى وقع الحرب السورية تمكن اللبنانيون أو اتفق اللبنانيون على منع غرق لبنان في حرب تشبه الحرب السورية وهذا الهدوء نوعا ما وهذا الوعي مرده إلى أن ذاكرة الحرب لا تزال تخيف اللبنانيين ونحن لا نزال نعاني من نتائج الحرب تهجير وفقر و مئات ألاف الشهداء والقتلى والمفقودين يعني ربما لأن الحرب أعطتنا أمثلة مؤلمة اللبنانيون يحاذرون عدم الصدام مع بعضهم البعض وهذا أمر جيد Confessions are a modern expression of tribalism Of course it's the formula that have blocked the formation of national identity in Lebanon and uh, have given particular identities the upper hand. But this formula was always meant to divide society on a vertical basis in order to uh, obstruct class struggle. But with the expansion of neoliberal economy and the infiltration of neoliberal economy into various uh, Lebanese regions. Lebanon is not a big country, it's a 10,000 kilometers wide. So we, our rural areas are no, no longer rural the way they used to be. They became an extension of the city and with them all uh, tribal ties got weakened and along with them uh, this, uh, this system of nepotism and clientelism that could no longer serve all the people. So that's why I believe that it's an eventuality to have a civil state and to have the rise of a different, a new elite. We always blame the state, uh, but the state is the last to be blamed for our faults. What we, uh, when we blame the state, actually we try to run away from uh, uh, blaming the true uh, culprit, which is the confessions, which represent the deep state. You cannot take a decision, one decision. You have to take into consideration all the others. If you take, if, for, let's say, example, if you have to go, you found a, a corrupted person, he's a Sunni or a Shiite, you cannot, you cannot capture him. Why? Because they will say you're attacking the Sunnis, you're attacking the Christians. So you have to wait to, to find three corrupted, each one, religion and to, to catch them. You cannot with one minute come, I want a secular regime. How you will reach if you go to your own sect for marriage, to your own uh, mosque and church for all your personal relation. First of all, we have to have the belonging. You have to clear it from the mind and heart that you belong to Lebanon. I'm taking part uh, in the protests because the system have reached a dead end and it would lead to the death of the country if we cannot save it.
If they, they put the old faces, we will not accept them. So easy as that, you know? You will see. They have the problem, not we don't have the problem. They have the problem because they are in the powers. We are only in the, in the ground, you know? What we want the people who get in the protest, we want to stop this system, this corrupted system, to make, uh, uh, to, to remove the whole system because they control everything. They destroyed everything. They destroyed the economic system, the financial system, the political system. We don't have any justice in Lebanon. We can make predictions, either because there's a government that is being formed and it can save us from the final collapse, or we're going to go to our final collapse. And after that, no one can pre even predict what's going to happen. Civil war, uh, foreign intervention, uh, another Greece, no one knows. Proudly, I say, I'm convinced that one of the hopes, one of the things that I can give to my children, to Tobias and Maria, who are now in Germany studying, I will tell them, come back to your second home. I want to fight to bring them to a better Lebanon. I cannot give them a land that they don't, they're not proud to be in. That's what you see me here doing. We cannot make change unless it's part of a wider spectrum, a regional one, because we are much uh, dependent and attached but to the region. We are not immune, we are not autonomous. And I don't see any, um, let's say, uh, uh, solution for the uh, region's crisis in the uh, next few months at least, or next few years. I don't want to break it until it comes, but you know that بعد كل ليل هناك فجر وبعد كل الشتاء هناك ربيع وربما يكون أنا لا أحبذ الموت حتى تقوم الحياة ولكن إذا حصل الموت فلا بد أن تقوم الحياة من بعده ربما يكون هذا هو المخرج الوحيد لإسقاط النظام الطائفي الاقتصادي والسياسي الذي نعاني منه منذ مئة عام و... ويكون هذا نهاية سعيدة للبنان بعد مئة عام أنه ممكن أن يقوم لأنه التمسك بالأشكال القديمة لن, لن, يأتي ثم... لن يؤتي ثماره ولا يمكن التطور ب... أو الانتقال لبنان من... من مرحلة إلى مرحلة أخرى طالما هو يحمل أدوات من الماضي لا يمكنك أن تذهب إلى الفضاء الخارجي وأنت تقود عربة حصان تحتاج إلى مركبة فضائية ونحن ما نملكه اليوم بنظامنا السياسي والاقتصادي الحالي هي أشبه بعربة حصان تريد خوض غمار الفضاء الخارجي I had a lot of times like I had to speak Arabic and they started saying like bad things to me because they realized that I'm Syrian. You can get into troubles in supermarkets, in taxis, you can get into troubles everywhere. First thing I saw is was like writings on the wall near the place I live that said go away you Syrian. It's not the idea that are delivered to Europe that we are welcomed here is wrong, 100% wrong. There is no future for us in this country, of course, and all the Syrian people know that. Thank you.